What's up all you hardcore bashers out there? Today we've got a couple of Savage drivetrain maintenance sips that are perfect for you guys. So to change the diff of the Savage X or the Savage Flux, they're both identical uh, when it comes to that. It's very simple, it just takes a couple minutes to get to it. So the first screws that we're going to take out are these two screws at the front of the skid plate. These are quite long, there's four of them. And uh, that you're take there's four that you're taking off. So those are the first two screws that you need to take out. And then with a pair of needle nose pliers, there's these clips that hold the bumper on. So just in between here, there's a very small little plastic clip. You're just gonna reach in and pop that out. You'll do that on both sides, set those down, and then just pull the bumper straight out and down. And then what we're gonna do is take off these two screws, and then the bottom of these two button head screws, the bottom pair. So. And again, these top two screws are the same as the screws you just removed from the bottom. Once these are taken out, the entire front half of the diff case just comes right off and you'll have the diff in your hands. And now we're going to get at the these shorter button head screws. And these are the final screws you have to take off. Then uh, you just need to take these, these pins off. You get your needle nose pliers once again. And just pull out these pins that hold the upper arms in place. And then you're able to just very firmly just take off the front of the uh, diff housing very easily. And keep that arm brace in place. And there's your there's your diff right there. So to get it out, the dog bones kind of are holding it in place at the moment. So you just have to spread spread the wheels out so that the uh, dog bone, they're not sitting inside the diff out drives anymore. And then you're able to just easily just pop it out, just like that. And there's the diff out of your Savage X or Savage Flux. Now, if you have to replace them, you can buy these pre-assembled or just the parts, uh, the pre-assembled part numbers on your screen right now. And if you get that, you get it exactly like this right out of the bag and you can just pop it right in. Now to make sure that you're putting in the correct way, um, this this is the ring gear of the diff. Make sure that it's on the same side as this indentation inside the diff case at the bottom of the diff case there. That indentation is so that the ring gear can spin freely. Then just, you just have to push it in with a, a bit of force and make sure the dog bones aren't in the way. Okay, now we're ready to put the, the front half of the transmission back on, or the, the diff case. Just make sure that this purple arm brace is in place like that. Press it into place. 
pop that back on. Then you take the suspension pins and just just wiggle them back into place. Sometimes they go in easy, sometimes they don't. There we are. And then you just assemble the, uh, put the screws back in. Remember the, the, the two button head screws go into place just inside here in these locations here. And these four screws, like I said, they're all the same, so you can't mix them up. And you've got these two that go in just at the top of the diff case. So this, this is the last screw to go in on this part and then uh, we'll, we'll attach the bumper with the clips. So thread those back through. And it's just easier to use the needle nose pliers that you used earlier just to pop the clips back on. And then you just put the last two screws in. And there you go. That's your brand new diff installed. So now your drivetrain is all ready to go. Get out there and keep bashing.